Hey guys, today I'll be doing five square one walkthrough solves. So, I'm using the cubicle chi square one, which is my main. And I average around like 10.5. So, here's the first scramble. For this cube shape, I'll just do scallop kite by matching this up with this. And that's just one move in the scallop kite. So you take this line and match up with that. And just scallop kite. Okay, so now just one move uh, CO. And then I see I'm going to get a 1-1 one, one just because there's blocks. So 1-1. One, one. Okay, and now I'm get this is really easy. I'm going to get a uh, EP, a uh, CP skip. So I'm just going to get right to EP. I do that, and it's just U permutation. Okay, next scramble. Uh, scrambles in the description, hopefully. Okay, <clears throat> so again, scallop kite. This is a really good one because. The only moves you do on the top are ones to get to scallop kite. So you just match this L up here to get like a four scallop thing. And then you just move a one and match it up there. So it's really fast. You just do that. And then you get scallop kite. Okay. So I'm going to match up this down here to get a bar. And then put it up. And then we have three on top, three on bottom, and I see I'm going to have this bar here and um, diagonal on the bottom, so I'm just going to do a U and then go right into that L, except I might have to misalign it. I see that this is already misaligned. Yeah, I wouldn't do this in the solve, but I see this is already misaligned. If it's like a V perm, then it doesn't matter if I misalign it. But since it is this parity thing that's going to give me adjacent, that's actually a good thing. But I probably wouldn't notice that. But I actually know now. I would know that I'm going to get a W perm on top. Because it's this T perm thing. <coughs> with those two switched. But for this, I know I'm going to get an adjacent on the bottom. Because of these two N perm blocks. So yeah, I wouldn't look at that. I would just do that. And then I just have... This case, W perm on top, adjacent on bottom. Okay. Next scramble. Okay, <clears throat> so this is really easy. This is just one move, one slice into scalp, scalp. So. How do I do it? Yeah, I just do it like this. Slice, and then scallop, scallop. Okay, so bring the yellow bar over here, and get these two. But And I see this edge is just going to stay right there, so I know I'll have that edge solved. So then, just bring that up, like that. And then another 3-3, three, three. so... And then, alright, so for this, I, when I get something like this, I try to, like when I, so this is a J, so if I were to do it right here, I'd get an H perm on the bottom, which isn't very good. I'd rather do a U perm than an H perm, but I would rather do a double U perm than a single U perm. So I might, what I'd probably end up doing is just misaligning that and then getting a U perm on the bottom. However, because that preserves this, if I really thought about it, I might do this, which gives me a W perm, which I think I can do faster. But um, I would probably just go for the U perm on the bottom. Okay, so let's scramble. So yeah, this is pretty easy. 
for this, I don't do scalp scalp because I like uh, scalp scalp uses too many like three moves. I guess I don't really know. I just like this better. So instead of matching this up to this, I'm gonna keep these two and bring this up here. So I think that's called shield shield. Yeah. So just like that, and then you solve it. These two are like opposite things. It's I don't. It's pretty easy to recognize once you learn it. You just slice, and then you get this, which is that. Okay, one move, CO, and then L, L, pretty easy. I, oh wait, oh wait, there, okay, there, I don't, I might notice that this bar is in front, but LL sometimes I don't notice because it just is really fast. So just do that, put that in back, and I have a WW. I mean, I know that's going to be my EP because it's this T-perm parity thing on both sides, and I know whatever angle you do that from, no matter how you misalign it, it always gives you a W-perm, so WW. And I might, because I know the WW algorithm flips middle air, I might cancel into that. And if I did, that would actually leave me a better position, because you put the opposites here on the top, and opposites in back for the algorithm. Okay, last solve. Okay, so for this, this is sort of like the first scramble, but I don't use scallop kite for this because the first scramble, I know there is, I'm pretty sure there is a way to do something good on the first scramble that's not just scallop kite, but for this I know what to do because it's one slice. It's one slice into uh, shield square, which is one slice away from a uh, similar fist. So the way... You do this is just make a square using this L and that L, and then you also get shield, so shield square is just like that, and then you get similar fits. Okay, uh, EP, I mean, CO skip, and I see I have this bar here, it's solved on the bottom, so I'm going to do U2 for my uh, CO. Yeah, and I see this bar is going to pre be preserved adjacent on the bottom, so I'm going to get U perm adjacent. And yeah. Oh no, okay, I messed up. Right. Yeah, I messed that algorithm up. Okay, thanks for watching, and hope you get faster. Bye.